Hey everybody, uh, I'm Christy from Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Family and we're going to just put together a quick marinade uh, for some country ribs because dinner tonight is going to be super simple. We've got a pound, about a pound of country ribs which is basically in a nutshell they are boneless pork chops that's been cut into rib sizes. <laughs> Uh, so that's kind of what they are and this is so simple and we're going to do them in the air fryer later but we got to put, put them together in a marinade so that they can take on some flavor because no flavor no good in, in this house anyway so super super simple we've got some light olive oil and we've got a handy dandy ziploc bag everybody has one this is a gallon size and I'm going to eyeball, oh, this has not been opened yet, oopsie. Okay, get that open. And put it in the bag. I'm going to say there's probably three tablespoons, about three tablespoons worth. Just so that you have enough to coat your meat. And this is how I marinate a lot of my meat, but it just I just change up the spices. Uh, then we've got a couple of tablespoons of the smoky apple wood rub. Um, this is the grill mates from McCormick. Lots of different places make a smoky apple wood rub. Uh, we really prefer the pampered chef one. Um, I'm a pampered chef guru. <laughs> Love it. Um, but we do use other spices as well. And so we're going to get that in the bag and we're just going to smush, smush, smush to get it incorporated. And then, of course, Country ribs wouldn't be country ribs without a little bit of sweetness. And who, who likes barbecue without a little sweet? So we're going to add about three tablespoons of light brown sugar. And of course it will make it sweet, but that's the point. We like it sweet. And we're just going to mix, mix, mix. Use our hands, mix, mix, mix. My little dog is down here, Peachy Poo, is down here watching my every move. She thinks she's going to get something. So I just mix that in and oh, it smells so good. Alright, so take our ribs and drop them in one at a time. Make sure your hands are clean. out with your hands and again we're gonna mix 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 That's something kids could do after you've got the meat in who doesn't love to smush meat in the bag all right so what we're really gonna do is just get the meat coated in this marinade and it looks like that's pretty good to me we're going to throw it in the refrigerator for as long as you've got, really. I mean, I would say at minimum two hours. We're gonna, probably going to go four to six hours. And then I will be back later and show you how we use the air fryer to make them just like they're on the grill. We'll see you later. A few moments later. Okay, everybody. We're back. It's dinner time. And we're going to put together a really, really quick dinner. Uh, we had put the country ribs into marinate earlier this morning and they are ready to go in the air fryer uh, about 20 minutes uh, at 380 degrees here we've got our air fryer this is the pampered chef air fryer and it's got um, shelves instead of a drawer uh, if you have a drawer uh, you will have to flip them in the middle um, but the 3, 380 at 20 minutes should be just about right. And this is just about a pound of ribs. And I'm going to throw these in on the middle shelf while I get that moving. And there we go. All right. And in 20 minutes, we'll be back in the meantime. I'm going to whip up a quick brown butter sauce over some egg noodles and we're just going to have some steamed broccoli and that's dinner. Super easy. Okay guys, we are going to 
whip up a quick brown butter sauce. I've got about a half a stick of butter in the pan. We're gonna melt that. And then earlier this week I made something with egg noodles. And we have just about enough for Brooks and I to have a nice serving of egg noodles each. So I just threw those in a Ziploc and uh, they are gonna be ready to go. And a little bit of Parmesan cheese and really very simple, um, very simple meal. And we're just gonna wait for that butter to melt. Okay guys, we are getting the brown butter together. Oopsie. And sorry you don't see me, but you see what's going on in the pan and that's the most important. So basically we're gonna burn the butter. I mean that's, and this is salted butter, about a half a stick for, I'd say that's about two cups of pasta. Like I said, I don't, I don't put a lot of, um, how do you say, I don't measure a whole lot. I might actually put some garlic seasoning in this. I got some of this Flavor God garlic lovers. What do you think, Brooks? Think that'd be good? Garlic is the way to go. In the pot, in the brown butter pasta? Always garlic. Yes. Yeah, so, a little bit of garlic, Flavor God garlic. That will just give it a little spice. Gotta have spice, man. There we go. See, it's. See, now I'm not gonna know when it's done because I now I turned it a little bit brown with the spices, but that's okay. We are just mix, mix, mix. See how it's frothing? We want that to froth and it's going to get a little bit browner and a little more burny. Is that a word? Burny? Yeah, we're going to let that burn off just a little bit more. I don't want to burn it like ridiculous. And then we're, of course, we're making a little bit of broccoli. Who doesn't love broccoli? Simple and easy. Because your mama told you to eat your green vegetables. Because my mama told me to eat my green vegetables from over there in the peanut recliner. I mean, gallery. We call peanut recliner. That is about brown enough. I've got to lower this flame. Throw in some noodles. Lower this flame, too. Butter noodles, as simple as that. Just gonna cook them through. Uh oh, I dropped the noodle. Which dog's gonna come and get it? I lost my noodle. Did you lose your noodle today? You're gonna lose your noodle kind of day. These noodles are stuck together. I don't know what I'm trying to do about that. See if we get them. It happens. It happens. Alright, let's throw some Parmesan. And my dad used to say Parmesan. Parmesan cheese. Because he thought it had an I A N, it's actually just A N. Parmesan. We have a friend named John, and we call him Parmesan. Parmesan. Parmesan, because he's Italian. I don't know if he thinks it's funny or not. But it's all in fun for us. Alright, here we go, guys. I got your brown butter noodles right there. Pretty much done. They're just going to saute for a few more. We're about halfway through on the ribs. 
so maybe another 10 minutes or so but we want to look and see how they look they look amazing if you have a drawer air fryer at this point you might want to flip them all right i think these are done hopefully they're not burned <laughs> We have to finish it off with just a little sweet baby rays. What's a rib without barbecue sauce? I know some people are like, well, I like dry rub. But we like just a little bit. Here we have it. Quick and easy meal. Starts with a very quick marinade in the morning with the ribs and ends with some quick sides and probably 15 minutes and dinner was done. Well, 20 minutes because that's how long it took. But really, it doesn't take very long at all. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. I hope that you'll come back. I hope that you're learning a few things about how to cook. Because so many people have asked me for recipes and how I do things and how Brooks does things. And so we just decided to go ahead and try this channel. Um, again, if you have any prayer requests, um, please feel free to email us at ramseyneemail at gmail.com. We will read and pray over every single one. And God bless you, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. And please, it will really help us if you subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified when the videos post and like it because that really helps us. And we just want other people to be able to find our channel, and by you doing that, that helps other people find our channel. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.